Yo ho ho! What's going on, guys? This is Grim Reaper bringing y'all niggas another session of the motherfucking greatness, bro. I know this niggas only told me not to curse in the beginning, but I fuck that shit, bro. This shit was too good, bro. This shit was this shit was everything, dog. And you know how girls do sometimes where they're like they'll tease you for that first month, you know, throw you the booty a little bit, but not let you fuck. They'll grind on you. They'll play with your dick. You know, kiss you a little bit, but they won't let you fuck. That's what Murata just did, bro. Murata just teased the fuck out of us for a whole month and two weeks, bro. And then he gave us this. Um. Oh. But I got some more niggas here with me today. Um. I think everybody soiled their uh, underwear with sperm. So let's hear about their experiences. What's going on? This what else have we been <laughs> Bro. YouTube is demonetizing your ass for the whole, like, two years. I mean, <laughs> yo, you just went on a tirade, man. <laughs> uh, watch list. Yeah, but as to uh, if my sperm went in my <laughs> underwear after reading this chapter, uh, no, I, I kept it in. It was hard, but I kept it in. It was hard, huh? <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> this is probably like some 10 year old's first podcast. <laughs> and he's just, and this is just blasted. He's like, oh, I want to learn more about what punch, man. And then, room immediately. 18 plus. You got to start off early. Hey, it's a, it's a Sanin. A Sanin. <laughs> I don't know if my feelings are as strong as that, but <laughs> anyway, chat was pretty swell. Uh, yes, it's great. 10 out of 10. Definitely 10 out of 10. <laughs> Lordy Lord. <laughs> I know, I couldn't believe when Satsuki said that. No, 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 no. Matt finally dropped a reaction. <laughs> Go take that out, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm definitely. I, I kept it on the inside. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, right? And I, I definitely give it like 11 out of 10. Murata knocked it out of park. Artwork was beautiful. So the wait was well worth it. Yeah, I, uh, I soiled my underwear with semen. Like uh, a <laughs> lot of semen. <laughs> God, he's making up for what's <laughs> secreted from my penis after I read this chapter. <laughs> It was a uh, biology class, then. <laughs> yeah, it's like so much, and because this chapter is just so good, it's definitely a uh, ten out of ten. A lot, a lot of semen. <laughs> um, so before we get it popping, um, unfortunately, one of the reasons I think why um, Murata took so long was because uh, his father passed away earlier last week. Um. So I'll get a quick moment of silence for uh, for that and all that real fast. But um, with that aside, um, it's not leaving it short to say that this chapter is probably iconic. Um, definitely top twenty chapters of One Punch Man. Um, there's a whole, there's a coalition of things that we can draw from this, not just like the actual fight, but a lot of little Easter eggs, a lot of comparisons, a lot of parallels. Um, but before all that, does anybody want to talk about Atomic Samurai versus Flashy Flash? Why would we want to talk? <laughs> Why? Why did you get brought up? No, I think Flashy Flash should win, so I think we all agree on it. <laughs> I don't know. We didn't even get to see what Flashy did to survive. Nah, it's just fine. Flashy would win. You saw what the static did to his hair. It's <laughs> all good. What, and he just turned around and gave it the look, and then it was like, Burp, and just evaporated. Nah, nah, I'm just joking with that. But, um, so, what's up with this cover page, bro? Like, that. Yeah. Fuck, bro. I ain't it's seen nobody fitted like that. It, I mean, it's what we needed. You see my boy Bang Bomb looking souped up, and then of course the beautiful Fubuki. That's oh. all you need. It's been so long, bro, since we've seen Fubuki. Oh, he's fucking great this Saturday. You good, Grim? <laughs> I mean, damn. 
sound like you had another one of the moments. Another round came out of the chamber. No, just like, because it's like, all right, we have like other badass cover pages where it's like, you know, Fubuki sitting there chilling in her sexiness and shit like that. But like, also, no homo shit, bro. Bang looked like super dripped out, bro. Like, that's a suit suit. Yeah. We get paid well. Also, I think his little pendant on his tie might actually be two side Thomas. What the fuck? If you look, no, yeah. I think, I think Murad had said it. I think it's just like one's logo. I yeah, think yeah, is. that's oh. yeah. He did this before actually too, with uh, one's face. Oh shit! I thought that was a crown or some shit. It Most is, but it the is. Uh, like where the jewel would be, it's one's face. Oh shit. I didn't That's... notice it the first time I read it, but then looking at it in more detail, I was like, that looks like Saitama. Damn, that's crazy, dog. All right, but let's hop into it. Uh, let's get it popping first. I guess the first order of revenge should be um, Orochi. Um, let's do the obvious one. Is Orochi dead? No. Yeah, yeah. Hell. <laughs> he You're dead. Just... I, I say he's dead because... Um... Uh, Shonen has already told us that he was like manga original, so I believe that he's uh outlived his purpose. Well, damn, <laughs> what the fuck was his purpose, bro? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the look scary. God damn, bro. Be able to say something after a normal punch because he really didn't. Like... Oh, yeah. Huh. Uh, Zuni? I don't think he's dead. So, it's his death is weird. It's not like a normal death. So, why else would they... Why else would he have a death like that if it didn't mean that he was probably going to come back? Because it's... Why is he talking, like, after he's already been killed? You know, like, that doesn't typically happen. It happened with Boros before, but, I mean, that was... After a serious punch. And also, speaking of Boros. Now, I don't want to put too much weight on this. But it is a thing that's out there. The last panel of... Well, not... One of the last panels of Boros after he gets punched. There's like a, a piece of his face. And you see the eye in it. And the eye is looking down. It's like the same as what Boros's uh, eye looked like after he got punched. And... but. Then he came back together, like, after the normal consecutive punches. And I, I put it on Twitter, and it looks, like, almost identical. I mean, it's pretty much paying homage to the... To the I think the Orochi eye is paying homage to the Boros eye. So that could either mean it's just acknowledging that, hey, here's another big villain acknowledging Saitama in the same fashion, or... Since Boros came back after that, after the eye looked down at him, maybe it means Oroshi's coming back too. So that, coupled with him talking after the punch and falling conspicuously down below, letting us see that there is pieces of Orochi falling down there that is somewhat conscious. Saitama not following after him, not following up to make sure that he's completely disintegrated. I think it's very likely that he's going to come back. I will say, if I if I see any way of a roach coming back, he did mention this chapter about the monster cell inside him, and obviously because we saw bits of a roach five just like zoning board up, maybe the monster cell inside of him survived, and not necessarily like him come back in the sense of like he shows up exactly like he was before, but maybe like a reincarnation if someone ends up eating his monster cell. And they maybe gain like the abilities of Orochi or something. Not all of them, but some of them. See that y'all niggas are skipping ahead, but that's another thing that I was actually I, I thought it was hinting at that too, because like um we mentioned in the beginning and Johnny just mentioned it again. There was a lot of parallels to different things. I mean Murata may be paying homage, but like to introduce the uh, a monster cell within Orochi in this fight, and apparently it's responsible for things because it's going sporadic in the presence of Saitama. Isn't this exactly like um the Dark Matter Thief ship, where you're gonna have to destroy the the cell in order to like bring the ship down? Could be. No clue. <clears throat> I just don't know what the monster cell means. 
It, has there been any other translations of this chapter besides the one that came from Reddit? I don't know if Manga Dex is um. No, Manga Dex came from Reddit. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. The only one I read oh, I was on Manga Rock, and that was. Then they mentioned the same thing about the monster cell, but I don't think that's from Reddit too. No, I read it on Manga C. <laughs> Same deal. I so, actually thought at one point it was a <laughs> mistranslation and it was supposed to be monster cells. That's the thing. Either the monster cell is just introduced now. This is the first instance of us finding out about it. Or it just means I don't know, like his innate senses. Like, you know, like when animals sometimes they know shit's gonna go down before it goes down. Like an intuition, yeah. maybe it, maybe it could be that, or it's like maybe he is the original monster cell, you know, and like what Grimm and everyone else is kind of pointing to, it's like you need to take that down in order to get rid of him completely. That could be it. I just want to see other translations of this to see if they say anything different, because if they don't, and it is literally the monster cell in my body, then this could be like something significant and not just a, a phrase or something yeah <clears throat> i'm thinking it's that and if like um i want to shout out ebris uh one of the people in the chat he when we were had the uh the reaction he was mentioning that what if the um the actual monster cells that people are eating have some type of like uh additional effect to them that has to do with uh, a correlation or a connection with orochi uh, there's nothing oh, it, it makes them like not be able to feel sadness anymore Like I, I'm actually thinking, um, which, you know, it might have been Goro Goro who did it. Remember how he said he's, like, cultivated, you know, monsters to be like Orochi before and would probably do it later if Orochi happened to expire? What if he implanted, like, a progenitor kind of monster cell into Orochi? Because all other monster cells come from Orochi, mm -hmm. allegedly. I think the quote was um, because she was referring to the the way in which Orochi became a monster. It was the um the whole like uh, getting getting close to death and then improving from it. And she said that uh, she had done that so many times. But um, I guess the adverse effects of that technique or that way of becoming very very strong, you could like um lose your intelligence, um not be able to grow anymore at all from wherever point you stopped at and death i think were some of the things that they mentioned in the translation that i read but it was more so not on like orochi in particular just a way to become a monster like that and i guess she has that plan for goro as well yeah probably so i'm not like what i what i was thinking is that like and this is completely unfounded and i and it wasn't even matter of fact i don't say that to you i ain't thinking that somebody told me this so it was like, it could be like a horror situation where other individuals who've eaten Orochi's monster cells could have like some part to do with him or like are involved in him somehow or some connection or like he has control over them once they eat the cells to a certain extent or like it's the, the, the idea was that there's some kind of influence amongst the, amongst the multiple monster cells and the main monster cell. Like I said, it's completely unfounded, and I don't think that, but I told the person that I mentioned it just to hear what you guys think. But I'm kind of leaning towards the, the whole ship um, theorem for right now. Mm, I mean, I think the, uh, the idea that the cell is, like, influencing other monsters and uh, Rochi has, like, this control over that. I, I, I kind of like that, but I'm not too sure about it. I haven't really... I didn't really put too much stock in what uh, Rochi said at that moment to Saitama about the monster cell. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see what that's about. Cause like, I, I know we started off with that big ass point, but it is really the entire like basis of this chapter. Um, this has been the big bad of the arc since the beginning. Sure, Goro is uh, riding the same path as him, but we've seen his growth. He hasn't taken the same stances um, as him. And after this chapter and after rereading um, 92, 
I'm kind of seeing this as like a um, like a mirror for Goro in Saitama, like a two way mirror that Murasa is giving us. He's showing us, or he's giving us Orochi as a manner to compare the two characters because Orochi is the only one who's technically seriously fought both of them and is is still alive. Um, besides Rover, um, we see the, he actually started off the fight in the, in the same exact way, you know, throwing his horns at him. That could be just Orochi's like regular fighting style of how he does it, but that was kind of peculiar. Um, then he pulls out his fire breath after he pulls out his huge mouth to uh, to try and eat Goro, and then the same thing happened with Saitama. He threw um his his uh his horns at him, and then he resorted to his beams and shit after transforming. So I'm I'm kind of seeing it as that that like Orochi's gonna be the the two way mirror in between Goro and Saitama if Goro happens to be the final encounter. Um, cause it, ah, it's, it, it would just leave a really bad taste in my mouth if Orochi was dead right now. And we just have to, we just have Goro to, or Ngero Goro to be the next highest villain to deal with. I feel like something else has to be pulled out from this. And it's probably like Zodin was saying, and this nigga's not dead. All right, you're also forgetting about the executives though. Yeah. True. Got how many executives left? <laughs> All of them. We got black sperm. We got homeless emperor. We got gums. Um, neon neon still is kicking. Yeah. Rover is still kicking technically, but the fear guy, yeah. whatever his name was, pure ugly. Yeah. I mean, but do you guys think that together they could pose the same threat that Orochi did, or greater? No, no. Just the way that Giro Giro was counting on Orochi and nobody else. I mean, of course, Orochi's like right there, but I don't think um, they're going to be anywhere the same level as Orochi. That's why Saitama had this fight and nobody else. But as a group, though, I'm saying like, because oh, as a yeah, I still don't think I don't I don't I still don't think so. Yeah. Because I get people saying that like a bunch of the S-Class heroes could team up and still not beat Tatsumaki. But I wasn't sure if that's going to be the case for the executives. Because like the reason why I'm saying that is because, yeah, there'll be, there's going to be the executives left and Goro left and Giro Giro, whatever, if Orochi dies. But like they don't pose the same amount of threat to Saitama. And one thing that I noticed in the chapter was <clears throat> Orochi already spilled the beans about there being other monsters here. So... Our hopes and beliefs that we talked about like a few weeks ago about Saitama leaving the the base after he beats, uh, whatchamacallit, Orochi, I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. He's going to kill him and then go find some more monsters. So, I don't know, man. I just know you can't be dead. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. We'll see. What were your thoughts on, uh, on Overgrown Rover? Right choice. <laughs> Self-preservation instincts kicked in 100%, and he got the fuck out of there. Well, actually, hold on, hold on, my bad. What? I was I'm, I'm tripping. We forgot to uh, to do the um, the Orochi as a whole portion. I don't think we've ever talked about Orochi's like character completely like that. Um, so what's up, Matt? I mean, Orochi in general, I think he's probably my favorite monster, to be honest. Like, he's he's got, obviously, he's got the presence, he's got the power, and I just, I loved him in this chapter as well. Like, just him going on about, um, like, he actually took a moment to realize, like, you know, this is the guy who's been causing all the issues. He's the guy who took down Ketsu on a centipede. He figured out really quickly as well, to be honest, that Saitama is the ghost, like, the monster of City Z. Um, oh, yeah. I, yeah, I, I love that. Like, and obviously, like, his, I mean, he's a he's a monster made of dragons, like I don't know how much more I could say. Like he's, I just thought he was a good intimidating presence. And going on to what you said about the executives, uh, as well, I still remember when uh, Blackspoon went to challenge him, and then he ate awakened cockroach and Blackspoon kind of backed down. <laughs> he was like, "I okay, you're you're boss. I get this." Um, but yeah, no, like I love Orochi. Orochi's great. I'm I'm sad to see him go, but he's great. Damn, Matt thinks he's dead, huh? He's gonna pull a sundown, huh? <laughs> no, that's not cool. a sundown. <laughs> a sundown with the say a sundown quote would have been like a Rochi's trash or some shit. 
<laughs> and then he comes back and then like whoops somebody ass. Well, if he's going to have some kind of regenerative factor added on when he comes back, he's too good of a character to just fall down a hole. But to argue, that's what they did to Goketsu. <laughs> he looked cool, but I didn't care about Because <laughs> Because when Goketsu showed up, like I thought, like there'd be this big character arc with Swiri or something, and Swiri would get like a rematch against him, and they'd have this epic fight, and it didn't happen. But I still loved it. The main reason I think Orochi's dead is because what the because I know Shonen was talking about how he had those words, but I think the context of what he said made made me go like, yeah, this nigga's probably dead because uh, he talked about like. Uh, so this is terror, and that's like what Garo was trying to tell him. He was he was like, "That's Facts. the one thing that you're missing as a monster." So the fact that he uh kind of made made that whole thing go full circle that makes me go like, like "Oh, he's probably done." Um, was it Matt who brought it up just earlier about like maybe like like uh. Like possibly somebody like eats a part of Orochi, then like they that's mm-hmm. like substitute for like monster cell. Because I, I could see that happen with happening with Garo. Oh, I could that's definitely see. oh damn, yeah, that's, he did eat a monster. No, that's who I was thinking. If anything, because I couldn't see anyone like, and you couldn't see an executive or a hero doing it. Garo makes the most sense. It's just the path he's been going on. I was a bit unsure whether it became him. To that'd be my thing. Oh shit. Going full villain means you go full cannibal. So yeah, he is only in the manga. And it, it totally I could totally see him just serving the purpose of just being an extra added huge guy out there that no one else can really go against besides Saitama. I mean I guess he's kinda like all for one in my hero. Like all for one didn't really have a big impact on the story like compared to the other characters you know he was kind of just there so that there was like somebody super powerful in the overarching story for like all might to fight against and i think this is kind of like the same thing here like he's a little too much for for any of the s class heroes besides like tatsumaki to have like a realistic chance against so i mean if he were to come back that means that he'd be even stronger and at that point i guess only saitama could take him down again so maybe he won't come back just saying it seems weird with, with his death that's all and yes you raise a good point about Goketsu. that is true i was that was unexpected i did not see that happening but Goketsu didn't really have a weird death the way that rochi does so yeah other than that it's like it's fine i mean i'm ready to move on but um, I don't know. I, I would have just liked to have seen a Rochi against the S class heroes. That's all I want. Uh, here's a quick question, then, guys. Because a few of you guys last time we were talking about if Garo had a rematch of Orochi. If Orochi's in this weakened state and he's regenerating, do you think this is if Garo was to make a like to be doing something during the Monster Association? Do you think he's going to be doing this if he had some? If Orochi turned out to be live, Garo has his rematch with him. That's how he grows even stronger. I'll be down with that. That's interesting. Nah, I King. Like it. <laughs> King? Okay. Yo, I swear to okay. God on everything, bro. I, I know I mentioned this in my review, but like, this is literally the perfect formula for King to get more credit. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> it's, oh, so like someone's... he sees the monster cell on the ground and he's like, "Ooh, what is that?" and steps on it and kills. Orochi's <laughs> no, no. head is gonna land down. An executive's gonna find King, and they're just gonna see King standing in front of a, like a headless Orochi. Oh, dude, I hope that happens. That I thought, I thought about it like this, bro. So check this out. So drop dead out of shock. You have seen how like Atomic and Bang, especially Bang, they encountered the lightning from the shock or whatever. Um, and then uh, uh, Giro, Giro and Tatsumaki, who were uh, apparently in the vicinity of Orochi, because because she was calling for him and shit, they also received um like debris and damage from like the explosion and shit. So that tells us like the the somewhat approximate vicinity in which he's in or which uh, um the Fubuki group is in. 
So my belief is that since King isn't like flashy, who's flying down through the fucking subterranean base like nothing, right? He can't be that far away from Bang and Bomb. So if they encountered the blast, so did he. And if Orochi gets killed in this area, uh, a certain point around where fucking King is, and then Child Emperor, who's also attempting to leave the fucking facility and shit like that, who, if you remember, um, he sent out a Phoenix Man's battle, da battle data to the association already. So he doesn't even have to be, like, fucking out of the, out of the base to send information out. I'm thinking that uh, Orochi's body's gonna fall, King's gonna be like, oh shit, have blood spilled all over him, because all the fucking blood that Saitama ripped out or whatever and shit like that. The head's gonna fall down next to him, and then we're gonna see Child Emperor with Gunma. He's gonna be like, oh damn, this is the killer got Orochi and shit? And he knows about Orochi, because he took, um... The battle data outside of out of um Metal Knight's drone. So shit, bro. <laughs> the nigga who who Metal Knight told Child Emperor not to fuck with, King just killed. And he sees the body for evidence right there. Then they both head up to the top of the association together. And Bruh. Why wouldn't you believe an S class when they tell you something like that? <laughs> Y'all are assuming one thing, though. Y'all are assuming that King went down here. We <laughs> haven't seen this far. nigga. We haven't seen him. Like, even in the in chapter 106, where we've seen everybody's reaction to Saitama's punch on Rover, we've seen, uh, we seen Zombie Man, we've seen Pig God, we've seen uh, Homeless Emperor, we've seen Puri Puri, Flashy Flash, Tasamaki, Fabuki, Bane, Bomb, Atomic Samurai, Gyoro Gyoro, Pure Ugly, Blastburn, Nyan Nyan, Child Emperor, Ugly Kid, uh, Asshole Kid, um, Dark Shine, Goddamn, uh, damn, what's his, his name? <laughs> How am I forgetting? <laughs> uh, my Mask, uh, My Mask. <laughs> um, but we did not see King. And we even seen Gen Genos. Bro, that has to be for a reason, bro. I mean, bro, I swear, King is probably like chilling right now. I would have got the fuck up out of the city. Though. Yeah, I would have got out of the city, to be honest. About most of Actually, what would work well, and it would be kind of like a moral conundrum for King, is like, okay, everyone went to Z City to go infiltrate the, inf you know, the association and everything, and as soon as everyone was out of sight, he starts. It's like, okay, I'm going home. But then it's like crap, because like he's feeling the earthquakes and everything. It's like shit, things are going down there, and I'm. It's like they could be dead, and I could be helping them. And then like that's when he started heading down there. Hmm. It's like I, I guess I need to actually be a hero for once. <laughs> Ooh, Just because. Genos is still in the apartment, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. I think he's about to leave the. Washing laptop. dishes. Um, I agree with what Matt said. Uh, well, I don't, I don't think he's my favorite monster, but I thought he was an interesting character because um, before this chapter, he was kind of just like a statue. Like he didn't really talk much. He, he did say like a couple of words, but not really anything. But in this chapter, um, he didn't underestimate Saitama from the get-go. He already acknowledged how strong Saitama was, so he was taking this fight serious. Um, obviously, the power, one of the strongest monsters we've seen in the series. Uh, that's obvious. Uh, he was he was pretty cool. Uh, he's one of my favorites, but I don't think he's uh, definitely my favorite. I got to really think about it. But Rover, he ain't looking too good. Relax, right? Stop trying to jump to him. <laughs> hey, guys, niggas, right? I've been watching JoJo, and like that's all they do when they just beat on dogs and fucking touch. Them <laughs> yeah, off. it's kind of trash. Yeah, man, like I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Leave Rover alone, <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Basically, like I pretty much agree with what everyone's been saying. He's probably not my favorite. You know, monster. Though I do love his like form of transformation and everything, and like just being able to blast, you know, a kamehameha out of almost any part of his body is just awesome. But uh, I, I wish we got more of like his own thought processes, you know, 
and we kind of got like a, sl a sliver of that in this one where like his emotions have apparently been fading I guess as he's become more and more of a monster I wish we could explore that more if he does come back we probably can if he's not you know then well that's a lost opportunity but yeah he, kick ass design awesome you know fighting style that he's got going where he can just kind of fight wherever he wants and just dominate the room so yeah uh, overall I approve of him <laughs> I didn't really think about it that till you just said it but would you consider um, Goro eating a monster the same thing as like Orochi starting to lose his like human sentiment and shit like that there could be some kind of duality to it or parallel, I should say. There, there could be, but I mean, like, that's like Orochi losing his um, emotions isn't just like, it's like obviously losing his humanity, but also, you know, coming with the ideals of being this overwhelming strength. Whereas Garo, I suppose, Garo's real kind of loss of humanity will be when he attacks the child. Um, but I get there is something there, I suppose, but he's obviously, he's eaten monsters before. I, I do get what you're getting at, though, Grim. I'm wondering, man, because this guy, he's... Uh, me, for me overall, I like him a lot. I like his design a lot. Um, he's powerful and shit like that. Cool. But I was watching... This was a long-ass time ago. I heard this, like, I guess a storytelling trait or, like, effect that happens to where, um, for mysteries and horror stories, where when you reveal what's terrorizing you, it kind of removes some of like the the scariness from it. That's why a lot of times in movies they don't really show you. Yeah, the a lot. Is that the effect? Is that? Then I cut out, with Grim. Man, bro, I only cut out for y'all yeah. niggas, bro. Hold on, let me fix the server region. Hold on. I don't know how you yeah, work sorry about yourself. that. <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, Eastern America. You hear me? Uh, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. All right. So, um, I was watching this thing, and they were talking about how um, this effect that happens for uh, in storytelling, like, um, whenever you're telling like horror stories, if you reveal, the story has no luck. Did he? It's Seriously, is this the story? <laughs> <laughs> bro, did I cut out, bro? Every out. time you like, all right. Come so on. here's the story. <laughs> Uh, did I did I cut out now or no? Still good. Yeah, it's just, so good. you're fine. Okay. Just say the story. Don't do any lead up, and you might get further. All right. <laughs> so like, uh, apparently, whenever in horror stories, whenever you reveal the villain or the monster that's coming after you, I guess it removes the scariness from it. That I guess the effect of just not knowing what it is or what's coming after you is part of the terror. So I kind of, to a small extent. Uh, I'm getting that from Orochi to where like seeing him was fucking badass but the two times that we actually get to see him fight was against individuals who were striving like they were striving hard like uh, um, Goro was striving to like get past him to deal with that and he was doing pretty alright like I wasn't I was very satisfied with how Goro was getting his ass bust <laughs> if that's the proper way to say it but with Saitama like yeah 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 so like with Saitama it's the same thing that we always get to like make these fights so fucking good. No matter how weak you are, the individuals try so fucking hard. They put out all those badass attacks and it looks so fucking cool and shit that even if they get blown through or they don't do anything, it's still worth it because they were so great to look at. But with Orochi, like, I, I think that takes away from his character to a small extent that every like serious fight we got was an individual striving fucking hard to like deal with that shit. Like, the instance in particular I'm referring to is like the um, the heat beams, right? In the beginning when Goro first gets first gets hit with um, Orochi's heat beams, he's just sitting there. He takes that shit, and um, Goro Goro mentions that he's taking that high uh, high energy or high heat temperature beam or whatever um, like it's nothing. So it's like that seems like this guy's main form of attack. Are you telling me that Goro can already tank that after he dealt with all that shit? And it's it's in it, the reason why it like. 
it both works and why I think this is having that effect on me is because obviously Gorilla's the main villain. He's that strong. He's that powerful. Of course he's gonna like fucking put in work like that. Of course he's gonna do that. It's just Orochi's position in the story, but I don't know. I guess it's just taken away from the character for me for a little bit. Just a little bit. I just think, like, the more you see, especially when it comes to, like, villains, that stature, um, I, I I think it's more attractive just to have, like, that lore. I think that's, like, something that One Piece does where you don't really necessarily know the strength of people, uh, but you know they're, like, high level and shit like that but sometimes when you actually see them fight then it kind of takes away from that because there's no more uh no more of your interpretation being uh playing a part in it it's just what you see in the story yeah very wizard of oz where it's like oh the wizard he looks so awesome until you found out he was a man, fat man behind the curtain yeah but i don't think that's the exact case because like well, like we mentioned earlier, like there's there was nothing unsatisfying about this fight. Like that's to me the beauty about One Punch Man that it's not like One Piece where he off screens every other fight, where he just tells you about somebody and we never get to see them, or they do one attack and then it's oh it's whatever. Like if you're strong in One Punch Man, or if you're worth anything, even if you're worth even the fodder gets to show what they can do. That's why I love this shit. Like in no other story are you gonna see fodder put in that fucking work like this and actually like have it make a difference and shit like bones i know we all remember bones and shit uh we were talking shit about it the other week because the anime left him out but bones got fucking bodied bro straight body but he looked badass doing it oh i'm gonna drink this fucking milk and i'm gonna get strong as type that type of shit i love that about the fights it's just i guess it's just hard to explain it with orochi but like he, he needs to come back alive bro he needs to come back. My whole snake shedding skin idea could still work. <laughs> so let's move on to uh, Overgrown Rover. Uh... <laughs> He'll be curled up in front of Cy Thomas TV by the end of the series. <laughs> He's like, damn it, I didn't expect you to come home with me, but I guess I gotta buy dog food now. <sighs> You made the right choice. Um, <laughs> that I have to like it. I mean, it's like Tommy, you know? But it's just, bruh. Like, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, Rover already showed, like, he was a force to be reckoned with. The person that's, like, really, like, needs to show me something is Yan Yan. Because both of those two, I was, like, I was really excited for them. Uh, Rover, he already... He already had his shine, I guess, so it's over. But, yeah, we made the right choice. I mean, of course. Like, you take that that punch, and you're going to know real quick. Especially, I, I suppose, that he felt that he was uh, restraining himself, and even then, just that is catastrophic. So, yeah, he made the right choice. Who's a good boy? Hundred <laughs> percent him. He hundred percent made the right choice. So I told him to shot him the look, and he was like, oh, "I'm gone." Yeah, I, um, I mean, it adds to like the element of like, there's overgrown rover just running around the association now, um, so he could literally show up at any fight. Um, but yeah, no, generally, I, you, you said in the questions like, "Is overgrown rover a bitch?" Possibly because he's a dog. <laughs> But apart from that, <laughs> generally he's no. Hundred percent, made the right choice. It's an animal. At this point, it's like they, if there's something too strong for them, they either figure, okay, I'm either gonna die if I fight, or I can just leave. Self-preservation. We all have it, <laughs> bro. But I'm just, I'm kind of scared that Rover got his ass whooped so bad that he's just like shell shocked. Yo. He just like all his morale to the fight. That's what I'm. I'm scared of. Like Me he too, just want to. Yeah, I'm scared that he's just going to be like domesticated or something. Just like he's just a house dog now. Bro, we already talked about this. I seen so much like fucking puppy, fan girl, fan boy, rover art everywhere. When the punch happened. Yeah, like oh, okay. I, I think mean, I've seen some of it. Yeah, like it. 
if this is the thing that the fan base wants, I'm really scared that one might give it to him. <laughs> I'm so scared, bro. Like, <laughs> a Poochie Rover? Nah, bro. No, oh, man. We can't have him. No, having him. No. I'm like a collar, a leash. No, we can't have He can't go out like that. He got to die. You you have to die at this point. I'm sorry, Rover. You my boy, but when you come into this life as a monster, you, you got to die, bro. Unless you like. <laughs> Uh, armored gorilla, or something who like changed his life around. I guess. I think the um that this confirms that feat, that tank feat that we talked about earlier. Because not only did it not did he not blow up from the punch, but like um, uh, how put this? I think well from from where Rover got up from, like when he woke up, he was immediately right behind Saitama and shit. I think that like. Oh, and I think he actually mentioned that shit too in the chapter that Orochi only came here because he heard the punch that he did to Rover. So I think Rover got up in like less than like two, three minutes or whatever. Probably. I, I still, I'm still not sure whether Saitama thought he was a dog or a monster because I'm just, I'm reading it now, literally like, um, he, he said like after Orochi goes, what have you done to Rover? He goes, no matter how you look at it, it's definitely a monster this time. So like the other two things he wasn't sure about, obviously that with uh gale wind and hellfire nyan and rover i don't think he was sure so maybe that's why he let them that's why he let them go in comparison to rochi who we can look at and go this is a monster how could he decide to oh. find rover see i thought that was referring to um to a rochi because like he says um you burned my cape how dare you and that's what he says no matter how you look at it it's definitely a monster this time. I won't have to go easy on you. Because that's what I'm thinking. That yeah, he, he, yeah. Go ahead. He's, he's talking about Orochi, but uh, Matt's just saying that by him saying that, that with the other monsters he fa he's faced, that he was unsure. Uh, like, uh, yeah, Gale Wind, Hellfire Flame, Rover. Damn, bro. Oh, and, and speaking of that page when all of that goes down, the whole how how does Saitama keep his clothes from burning off completely unless he somehow dodged it? But I would think the heat and just random fire would have disintegrated his outfit. Bro, he jumped from the moon, bro. If coming <laughs> in, <laughs> if coming in from orbit and shit isn't gonna burn your clothes, <laughs> ain't nothing gonna burn your clothes. Did he make this costume out of? Chuck <laughs> Taylor. He ain't paying no fucking tailor for shit. <laughs> you know as well as I do. Now you got it for free. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh. If, that, if he if he saved that guy's life and like from all the monsters and he made him pay for a suit still. <laughs> so you mentioned that that point that was pretty uh pretty interesting, Matt. So. Is is Rover gonna show up against Bang and Bomb or, or Flashy or, or what's up? He could do. I mean, he could show up against anyone now. The thing is, with a Rover like this, like he could be up against anyone. So, like, if he accidentally attacks like an executive, for example, maybe the executive's gonna be like, "What are you doing, Rover?" And they could even distract each other. Um, there could even be. I don't. I genuinely don't know. He's fast, so like he could go anywhere in the association. Uh, I don't know who he'd fight though. Hmm. He just can't die. That's the only thing. He just Rover has to be the only monster from this group that just doesn't die. And if Giro Giro can't talk, so we can't like tell like it's like Rover, what the hell's wrong with you? As he's bouncing around the room and he's like trying to tell you, it's like uh, uh it's like I I almost died. Rochi's fighting this dude. Maybe you should go check it out. And it's like, Rover, calm down. I'll get you some kibble. And he... <laughs> but no, he can't say nothing because he's a dog. The only reason why... Uh, no, no, no. The only other person that has to stay alive is Giro Giro if she's not a monster. She's just like a, a psychic girl controlling fucking the puppet and shit instead of a monster with a different form. Then... I need them titties to stay alive. None of that dope says shit. Like, fuck that. We need more. Yeah, I think I think she'll probably uh get like imprisoned or something if we lucky. 
But do you do you think she's a, a human controlling that puppet or like a monster with a different form with its puppets and shit or like Yeah, I I think she's a certified expert just controlling that body that we see that we've seen. Um yeah. Yeah. Cause I know we were we were like talking because like I thought we were for sure gonna get uh Giro Giro titties. It's tapped. I didn't think we were gonna get this big of a fight. <laughs> what I was like, fuck it, nah, maybe we'll do this shit first. And he dropped it. So, um, I don't know, man. It would be fucking. It'd be funny to see fucking Rover show up to save Giro Giro, and then have him like run right by or something like that. But I don't know, man. The stock for Overgrown Rover has dropped by like one or two points, but it'll go right back up. Put it back up. The next point we'll address is um, Oroti has acknowledged Saitama as the ghost of, uh, as the monster of the ghost town. I know we for a long time have been speculating about that shit, but somebody told me that there were other monsters like hiding, or like strong dragon level monsters hiding in Z City because of the rumor of Saitama. Is there any relevance to that still, or does this confirm that Saitama is the only monster in the city? Well, at least from. I'm pretty sure that Saitama is supposed to be like the the unknown person that they were talking about. But could there be like dragons lurking around? Get a Saitama? I mean, that's possible. I'm pretty sure because I'm like One Punch Man is going to end after this arc. So uh, we're going to have to see more dragon level threats after this. So, um, but I, I think what Orochi was referencing was Saitama. I don't see it being anybody else. Because he specifically talked about Elder Centipede and Goketsu. Did that make you think, like, that those guys were... Fuck, bro. I'm going to come off sounding like I'm talking shit about Orochi, man. Let me not even say that. Because he, he's acknowledging these guys for a reason. Like, they're strong as fuck. Like, strong as fuck. Yep. And, like... Damn, man. I'm just like, fuck, dog. Why did he have to die so fucking fast, bro? Remember, you, yeah, yeah, still a chance. I know, but like, it's it's. Let me just leave that shit alone, bro, because that's that's just gonna fucking piss me off. <laughs> like, if this thing is actually dead, bro, like, all of that. All right, so uh, um, Orochi transformed into a, a another form. Um, it isn't like the first one we've seen. It isn't like the one that we saw up against uh Goro. What do you guys think about it? And how strong do you think it is compared to other people? What's, what are your thoughts on this one? Uh, I like his original one better, to be honest. This one kind of reminded me of uh, one of Phoenix Man's uh, transformations. Uh, was it, was it, uh, fuck. Damn. How am I forgetting it now? What is it, the last form where he was like burnt halfway? What you're thinking no, of? No, no, I'm thinking of uh, pro I think it's isn't it prominent something where he's no. like there's there's but, Phoenix Falcon, about? there's prominence and his brilliance. Is it where he's yeah, I think it's yeah, when he looked like Moltres, I think it's the brilliance one. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what it reminded me of. Um, but I, I like the first form better, it just. The first form, he just looks more intimidating, at least to me. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy as fuck. This is like top, top twenty designs for me, like easily, maybe even top five. Like this, this nigga looks like. Oh my! Well, what's like up, Zoom? We got to see it almost in its full entirety, you know? Yeah, yeah. Moran knocked it out of the park. This is like top three design for me. I really like it. It's he just keeps pushing the envelope and just keeps impressing me so much with what he does. Can't wait to see what else he does with these characters because I know he's going to change the executives in some way from the web comic. They're going to be de they're going to be able to do something that they originally couldn't do. I guarantee it. Ooh, <laughs> they combine. Into evil Power Rangers. Was such. that the case for Phoenix too? Yeah, Phoenix Man was just a demon in the webcomic. He was just like his bird costume. 
Well, dang, he got a major bump then, didn't he? Oh, hold on, talk about. So when whenever we were like, so you really didn't know he was gonna come back alive? No, when he dies in the webcom, like when he dies after he gets hacked up, he just dies. That's it. He doesn't come back. Well, dang, one nigga really... not even a phoenix. <laughs> I was about to say one really <laughs> screwed up on that one. Didn't he? Yo! They just called him Birdman and left it at that. Would no one would have ever thought about it? Because I remember, like, whenever we were doing those streams, Zoni was the one that, like, nah, he's probably dead or whatever. But like, he wasn't tripping like, uh, like Sundown was and shit. And then, like, I wasn't sure if you were doing that whole. Um, sometimes you mislead us on purpose, or you like leave info out on purpose because it's webcomic info. So I wasn't sure if you were doing that to like not spoil that he comes back. But I ain't know that. <laughs> Damn, bro. So this could really be some. Oh shit. Um, I think I'd agree with Satsuki, where I think I did like his original, like his real monster form. I think it's trash. Like a, a bit better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> tons, of, tons of confidence now. Uh, but genuinely, like what I like about this is, I know we reference a lot of manga, but this reminds me so much of Frieza, where like obviously you know he goes from those big forms, and he transforms to that small form, which is a lot more compact, and then that's his true form, his true power is much smaller but more powerful form. Uh, no, but this one, I'm, this one's great though, a hundred percent. I loved it. I think the only thing I would have changed about it is if it revealed like he had a hidden mouth somewhere on his new face. <laughs> Like, where his chin would be. Like, if it just split right up the sides of his head, and then his face just kind of hinges, and then you just see a bunch of teeth. I would have loved that addition. Would would it have ruined you if, like, you just drew, like, a little set of buck teeth on him? <laughs> yes, it would have ruined it. It's like, cover that shit with fire. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> Out of everything, now you could have approved with this crazy ass as I. Keisha said he wanted a mouth. Well, it's just he doesn't have a like a functioning mouth you know like he sure he can open his chest apparently like a to use the only word that comes to mind a vagina <laughs> whoa whoa because <laughs> it was like a regular mouth in his previous state and then he's got like this you know, vertical slit mouth at one point, and I'm like, why did it change that? Yeah, he's got a, a demon hentai pussy. <laughs> right. A demon pussy. Right, I ain't never seen a pussy like that in my life. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't want to see one like that. That's my uh, new experimental band, uh, Demon Hentai Pussy. <laughs> There's actually a movie. I'll, I'll have to look it up. It's called it's Demon Hentai movie. Pussy? <laughs> no, it's not even a hentai. It's just a movie, and apparently it's a possibly a real human condition. Women have essentially like teeth in their pussy. What the fuck? Oh, vagina dentata. <laughs> it's not. It's not as extreme. It's not as extreme as the movie makes it out to be, but it is a real thing. Nigga, what? <laughs> the movie is called Teeth. Oh yeah. Y'all dirty, what? I didn't, I didn't watch that movie. I didn't watch that, bro. Look, that movie came out when I was a little kid, and it interested me. <laughs> so but seriously, Sony, can you delay the face reveal for 100k, and then 50k, can we get the first song from Demon Hentai Pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That movie came out in 2007. I didn't know it was that old. <laughs> Demon Hentai Pussy! <laughs> Yeah, that's what we sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, sorry to just kind of derail everything. <laughs> he had a vagina on his chest, right? He turned it. <laughs> yeah, oh. I'm kind of surprised. That, that's usually like a grim comment. <laughs> <laughs> You're it's in just the that came to mind. Oh, shit. Oh. Just like a rope, she's reached his true form. Kishin's coming into his true form now. <laughs> this server has just corrupted me. <laughs> oh man, that we don't even want to talk about Grim, Grim subscribers. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 what do you mean, man? 
Daddy? Bro, <laughs> we not even go like talk about that. <laughs> we, we not even go talk about that. <laughs> oh god. My subs are great, You're bro. Watching, I don't know what you're talking like, about, bro. What are you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> <sighs> um the fucking um fucking dread dragons or whatever you want to call them. They look fucking badass, man. His face oh. in general? But real quick, let me just uh say something about these dread dragons <laughs> because I've known about these things for a year now. Ooh. Nani? Marana talked about these things on stream one year ago. He hmm. said that what? What do you say? He said that Orochi's horns were gonna become dragons eventually. Oh shit. Did they remind anybody of Phoenix Man? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh-huh. In um Brilliant's form, yeah. His head and shit. It almost looks exactly like it. Yeah. And they look like dreads too. Especially when he's doing like with all the dragons like trying to strike at Saitama. They really look like dreads then. <laughs> also, he said some other shit regarding the story. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, of course. <laughs> but, uh, I'm, just, I'm just waiting for it to happen. I'm just talking about the story in general. It doesn't have to do with any character in particular. All right. Hopefully, says a lot about the story. He's writing at this. <laughs> no, it's just this specific one chunk of info. I don't know. It just it's a shame that this time is over. But there was like this real great time when Murata used to stream all the time, and he told us so much shit. Damn. But he doesn't do it anymore. I hope it's like a sex scene for Buki. That's that's what it is, Grimm. You've been watching the stream. <laughs> Cause if it's that shit, we did need that. Yeah, Fubuki gonna get washed. <laughs> she don't need to be down here, to be honest. Believe her, bro. I was kind of low key hoping that like um, Bang and Bomb were doing that with the help of Fubuki, like black is blocking the lightning, shit like that. But she wasn't doing nothing but like fucking screaming and shit. And she was what? <sighs> That hang on, lightning was charging at her, and you were just like, ah, she's just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> like we know she has telekinetic powers, but can she actually produce a barrier? It remains to be seen. We still haven't seen that. I thought no, that's right. Yeah, because those says was slapping her in the back and shit. Yep. Damn. And also, uh, just kind of a weird avatar reference. I bomb almost looked like Iro redirecting lightning. Let me see that bitch. Huh. At least it kind of looked that way to me. It was hard to see where his arms actually were, but it's what it looked like to me. Got a lot of badass stances in this chapter. Um, question: With Boros, I guess the alien ship may have been what intrigued Saitama to a small degree, even though he wasn't really interested, but. Was Saitama kind of like too dismissive with Orochi? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, it's because like with with Boros, all right. Because I don't know like Saitama's like whole how many monsters he fought like before we actually seen it in a series because he was already strong by the first episode. Um, but just over the course of what we've seen. We've seen a lot of people go up to Saitama and make these garbage ass speeches like Deep Sea King. Um did Goketsu make a speech? He probably did. Um Chose made a speech. It's just it's so many monsters that go up to him. He 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 himself knows that I'm 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 gonna just wash you. But they just go on and on and they talk all day, and then you have uh, Rochi here, it's, it, then Saitama's just like, bro, I'm done. Like, y'all don't have anything to offer me, bro. So, let's just get over with. And it's also the fact that he didn't come here for a fight. It was just to stop the noise. <laughs> yeah, so he's, kind of, he's kind of pissed off. He's yeah. like that like, middle-aged, kind of older person, like, who lives right, 
next to a frat house. Oh, like, that okay, was loud. kids, turn the fucking music down. I gotta <laughs> get up in the morning. Bro, I love this, bro. Like, it's bad. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. He is watching TV. God, this shit interrupted. <laughs> the TV shook off the stand and broke. That's how loud you're playing that goddamn music. <laughs> so he Turn came down. down. They're like, this is really a disgruntled neighbor, bro. Just trying to. Get... <laughs> I'm calling the, the homeowners association tomorrow if you fucks don't. <laughs> Turn it down. <laughs> and I just, is killing things. Just looking, because obviously, like, the amount of times we've seen the sea above, like, shake, right? So, like, obviously from Goro's fight, from Overgrown Rover, uh, everything like that, Child Emperor, and this, we keep seeing Z, Z, Z shake. Do you think when Saitama goes up, his apartment's still going to be there? Of course, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. be the one building survived, <laughs> Yeah. Just, do you think he's going to be able to afford another apartment anywhere else? Didn't they say that with? Didn't that happen with the meteor too? That um, uh, when he came back to his house after that, he was like, "Oh damn, it didn't hit my house though," or some shit like that. I'm not sure if it was I with don't the meteor. Remember. But, yeah. I, I, I do not remember. Yeah, like she yeah. doesn't. Right? It's only because Saitama's so got bad luck. Because even with the meteor, he was like, "Man, my favorite shopping." Uh, he was like, my favorite supermarket got wrecked, but the old place I used to live at, so all okay. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the whole damn city to just collapse and, like, fall into a giant sinkhole now. There's just been too much, you know, seismic activity going on in this arc alone for it to not unsettle the underground. There's been a lot of structural damage between Orochi and Child Emperor. Bro. Just them. <laughs> like, <laughs> nigga, I know y'all niggas saw half the city being raised up, right? Like, <laughs> good thing that it's a ghost town, is all I can say. But that's the thing, not all of it is. Like, it's all, wasn't there only just like a, one portion that was safe? That was unsafe? Yeah, I mean, it's like, that's why they regulate it to like a town. Because it's just like, you know, like a, a borough of the city. Well, what are we supposed to expect to be the results from this? Like, are they going to call a disaster level threat or some shit like that? Or are they going to call like an earthquake, a landslide or some shit? Like, what is... Well, I mean, they're they're not doing anything because they... I mean, whoever would be in charge of making that call, they already know what it is. They know what's going on. So they're kind of just like hoping for the best and let it, you know, settle. <laughs> if you happen to die... <laughs> It's like when you're a little kid and I don't know, you see one parent go into a room with the other parent and they're then the door shuts and then you just hear muffled yelling and then it's like sporadic, then it's quiet. Then a lot of yelling and then the door opens and it's over. No, that's just me, alright. And then in nine months you got like a brother or sister. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. And then in nine months, I'm in foster like, care. Got her hair over the left side of her face when it wasn't before. You know. Yo, you all right, Zony? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm fantastic. Bro, I'm not sure if that was like a a, a conception story or like a fucking abuse story. I'm not sure, bro. Like, you all right? <laughs> yeah, man. Did I say something that makes it seem like I'm not all right? Do you have a younger sibling by chance? I did. Mm. Wait, did. <laughs> what? You did. <laughs> oh god! I just move on. This is a darker story, right there. This is getting scarier than a roti, bro. <laughs> oh shit! So the water stream rocks magic fist showed up in both the occasion against Garo and here. Skip ahead. We're, we're not, none of us here are stupid. None of us here have read the webcomic, but we know what's most likely being led to. Is the rock, uh, is the water stream rock smashing fist going to be ineffective against Saitama? <laughs> yeah. What, what has been effective against <laughs> Saitama? At best, it could maybe deflect a less than serious punch. No, I don't mean like crazy, but like for example, in this chapter, Orochi, once he, like, um, 
I like to dub the attack Dragon Kamehameha because it was dragons and then they like they tore up together like Kamehameha like if you notice and like they were in a circle and then they came to the Dragon Kamehameha like he got hit by it like he got thrown back and hit by it that's why we saw him like running back from it they didn't do a goddamn thing to him but like that's what I'm saying like do you think the water stream rock smashing fish is going to be able to like hit smack throw Saitama around like Boros was for example like when Boros kicked him to the moon? Or does this kind of like clarify the example that it's not going to be shit to him? Probably depends on I mean, the individual. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. Didn't you mention, Zolene, that, that one, or Murata said that the, um, they're both about the same in the water stream rock smashing fist style? Or Roshi and Garou or something like that? Now, Mur from what I remember, Murata said that they are, it's just as good or something. But then again, that was a year ago, so I don't know if that still means it's true now. Because I'm, I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying that Goro's going to do, like, fucking break Saitama's jar or some shit because he has it. I'm saying, like, you know, like, for example, in this fight, we're skipping ahead a little bit, but Orochi caught Saitama one time. When he was like coming at him and shit. And that's pretty unprecedented to a certain extent. Really young people who are doing those types of feats are like, uh, as we mentioned, um, Boros himself. So like, is it too far-fetched to say that Goro's water stream rock smashing fist in an amplified state, hopefully, um, could do better or be more effective than Orochi's was? Hopefully. If if uh, Garo ends up fighting Saitama... Because then it will just wouldn't be in, it wouldn't be too interesting. Fair point. So you guys didn't I see think, that. Yeah, uh, part of the reason why I think uh, Rochi was able to catch him in the first place is because he was in midair. You know, once he was already propelling himself, he couldn't control where he was going from there. Unless he somehow learns how to kick off from air and kind of like skywalk, he's done it. Remember up against uh, Genos in the beginning of the series, like he was blasting the fuck out of him in the air, and he was just like hopping around there and shit. I guess maybe he has. I, eh. Maybe he just wasn't expecting it. I don't know. Maybe. I'm just saying because like. <sighs> Like we just got another feat for the water stream too in this chapter with the whole like deflecting lightning. So it's it's a super potent style with both speed, um, as we already know, and like dealing with heavy attacks too, maybe even beam attacks. But like, oh, fuck man, once again I'm falling to that same trap. It, yes, I understand it's Saitama, but like still though, like it's the water stream rock smashing fist style, man. This is strong as fuck. Damn, bro. If this nigga's really dead, bro, I'm like, I'm gonna be that fucking devastated, dog. <laughs> Are you gonna, is it gonna take away from your rating for this chapter if he ends up dead? So, Grim, first of all, what was your rating for this chapter out of 10? 13. Cool. Oh, you had so... to one up. Or two up. <laughs> I mean, all right, fuck it, bro. We're going to put all the biasness, all the love out of it. Just look at it straight. You know, that's good as fuck. We waited for like a month and a half almost. And we got like 30, 40 pages, right? Something like that. Badass. Amazing fucking art. Greatness. But like, in my personal opinion, this has to do with nobody else. I haven't really experienced that type of hiatus before. Like, that I'm like actively while doing content and I'm um, based off of it. I, I don't think I remember experiencing that type of hiatus. It's always been like a straight month or three weeks or the majority of times two weeks for the past few releases. So like to get almost two months and then Orochi's just dead. Like, 
Nah, bro, I need that Boros fight, bro. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I, no. Nah. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm complaining about the chapter whatsoever in any aspect. Like, I love this. There was nothing wrong with this, but, like, Fuck, dog. This nigga cannot die. Or at least give me some. Give me 40 more pages. If you give me 40 more pages in this chapter, all right, bet. Orochi can die. But besides that, nah, I can't. Nah, I can't tolerate that. You tell me Phoenix had a longer fight than Orochi? Damn. I feel like a little bitch complaining like this, but let's keep it pushing on. We got another one of like the greatest feats in the series in this chapter. <laughs> Orochi pulled his uh, dragon Kamehameha. Uh, opinions on it, first of all. You're bad as fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Kishin, right? If we need a sound clip of that just to play whenever we can. <laughs> it's bad as fuck. So, Zoni? Uh, it's insane. It's insane. There's nobody that can really deal with something like that, especially right up in their face. It's, it's definitely on the level of uh, what we saw from Boros in Chapter 35 when he shot that beam out of his chest. I mean, it's not as big as that. I mean, Orochi's is way bigger than what his was, but the devastation is comparable. Like, if uh, Orochi was on the surface, he would just, like, nuke cities. Fuck. I didn't even think about it I like that. It's the build-up for it as well. I love the dragons twisting. Like, they're all separate. They just... And, like, the spiral built into them just all of a sudden. Bam! You know? And he was doing three attacks at once. <laughs> and we didn't even know it. That's another thing that, like, separates Murata from the rest. I mean, it's, it's one thing to just be an incredible artist the way that he is. And he doesn't even really need to go any further than that. Like, he could have just had it. Orochi shooting the beam, but no, he took it one step further and showed the dragons twisting and the beams circling and carving through the association as they come together. Like, man, so, so impressive. But you do have to wonder, you know, like this was just five dragons. If he wasn't having to hold himself over, you know, an abyss... Could he possibly, like, combine both arms and all the other dragons that are supporting him right now? He did that. a bigger cannon? No, but there were know. some that he needed to hold himself up. But still, I mean, that abyss thing that you bring up, I wish we would have seen exactly what his full power blast is doing. It, it's too bad that we kind of don't know. So we just see it. It's huge. It's freaking awesome, but, like how much more devastating is it compared to what we saw him do earlier with one arm, you know? We don't get a comparison to that. It's, it's too bad. It's at least 10 stories tall. And I don't think it's as strong as Boros's collapsing Star Wars in canon because he would have destroyed the Earth. Like, if it was, he would have just shot down to the core, probably. Yeah, and he hit the Earth. It wasn't like the... um. I was going to compare it to the Emperor Nova. We did that one of the poll questions. But it kind of sounds like Zonin thinks that it's not even comparable whatsoever. No, I, I think it's above the Emperor Nova. By, like, so if they were standing next to each other, you know, just, ah! Oh! Well, what's, what's happening? I think uh, Orochi's going to blow him away. Is there going to be that, like, stereotypical Dragon Ball struggle, or is it? No, nah, I, I think just Orochi's just blowing it. So it's <laughs> I'm not saying one arm. I think one arm there might be a struggle. But if he does like what we're talking about right now, where all of the mouths are shooting a beam, he's just disintegrating child emperor. <laughs> Have you guys seen Bleach? Yeah. Yes. So you know when Ukiora fights Ichigo in his Master Law Day, and they both clash the Seros. That's what it'd be like. Yeah. Yeah. Except mm. instead of like him putting it up to his chest and blowing it out that way, <laughs> it's just him, his whole body just getting blown. I was gonna say, what did you think of the Dragon Commander Grim? When I was originally thinking about this, because I now I swear I'm actually zooming into the picture a lot more. Um, this shit is like it's dwarfing Orochi. Um, it's not a thing that's done easily, and I'm thinking back to the Nova. And, the, like, the crater created shit like that, too, and all that. Like, 
yeah, I, I can give it to Orochi easily. Or not easily, but yeah, clearly I can give it to Orochi. It's just that this was so fucking, like, that that sequence has to be top five sequences of an attack. Like, we got the whole, if you guys remember the whole Chose thing, that was that was okay looking, pretty cool looking too. We've seen Phoenix do um all kinds of different things. We've seen a lot of different cool looking attacks from monsters. Like, just like Matt put it, bro, like the dragon spinning and then carving into the association type shit, bro. Like, and then coming to, like, my niggas scrolling on the detail of Orochi actually doing the blast and then Saitama getting hit by it. Like, you see every single scale. You see Orochi's eyes. Like, you just see the intensity of his muscles and his arms and the blast. It's like, like, that shit was fucking godly, bro. And then the the wide or uh, like long distance panel over it, where like he draws the attack, and then he has like a lightning fill out the rest of the panel on the sides, making it like theoretically. I don't know if we should look at it like a a, a comic or if this is an actual scale. Does that mean that those lightning bolts are fucking like bigger than a roti and shit? Because <laughs> shit's like uh, those could be in the foreground, you know, because they're coming off from all different si sides of the blast. Like, you don't know where they're actually coming from. It mostly looks like they're coming from the top and the bottom. But, you know, perspective-wise, they could be coming off from the sides and going off in, at angles. And then that would explain why some of them are really big and others are small, because they're coming towards us. Yeah, that could be possible, because, like, if you look at how big Atomic Samurai is compared to the Lightning, I think that's about how big it is. Okay, so then the left, the left side of the explosion where he's doing it, where we get to like the um, the actual floors being depicted. So that shouldn't be taking the scale then. Like those lightning beams aren't nowhere near as big as that then. I mean, and maybe they are, or maybe it's, it's the perspective, it's, like Kishi was saying. It, it's one or the other. It's really hard to say how big the excess lightning coming off, how big it is, because presumably if that was even going to show it all if it was on the opposite side you wouldn't probably see it so that's why i think it's more on this side so that we can see that oh it has these discharges and this is this is crazy to like to lift it like because This is one of the few times where the, the panel is somewhat confusing as to the rest of the information, but like... How the fuck did the city get lifted if he's all the way down here, bro? Like... This... this It expands. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, we're, we're talking about like... I don't know if y'all niggas really get, take this into perspective. Like, half of the city was on the horizon, bro. Like, that's not a little attack. This is crazy, crazy. And he ate that like a sandwich. That nigga ate that like a... Bro, Saitama is... Oh, my God, bro. I actually kind of wonder how much damage would have been had it not been Saitama in front of the blast. Because he might have actually kept it from going further. Oh. Nani? Huh. <laughs> I know he's not as big as the blast or anything, but you know, I mean, he did tank it, obviously, so it possibly had some minute effect on it. Let me let me ask y'all this credulous ass question. Credulous as fuck. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Can uh, can Garou tank that? Oh, wait. Uh, Kamehameha. Yeah. Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe if he's not so damaged. Oh, we have to damn. see what condition he's in, and maybe a display of if he's powered up since the last time we saw him. Oh, okay, he's so only powered up. Okay, okay, okay. Bet. So the the Garou we saw, full power. He he should not be able to tank this, correct? No, because Rochi's gotten stronger. Yeah. So, yeah, this is like a Roshi's strongest form. So, I mean, it's it sent Saitama through the damage, but it sent him flying across the city. 
Like, I, I can't see Goro. Like, if, if Goro was at full health, that should send him straight back to the condition he was in before. <laughs> oh, damn. Let me, let me add Zonin because he's quiet. I think he's like fucking grim. What? Ah, oh, man. Um, the question is, can Garo survive it? Yeah, full powered. The one that we saw, full health. Nah. Nah, there's no one that can survive that. I don't even think Dark Shine's taking that. <laughs> Like, Could I'm, be I'm wrong, but like, oh, man, that's way too much. Damn, bro. He really get that him like fuck, dog. Like, I feel like inadvertently, uh, Murata may have downplayed like Saitama and like how far he got thrown because that nigga ran back fast as hell, dog. Like, we just saw the subway and then fucking. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Um, one of the uh, commenters in one of the videos was like, um. He thinks, or he, he did this calculation that um, apparently Saitama's apartment in, in, in the story is an actual apartment that exists, supposedly. Um, yeah. And he's saying that the closest subway to that apartment is like, I guess a whole town away or some shit like that, or several kilometers away. He thinks that, quote unquote, that is the end, that that subway that we saw is in a completely different town, especially because Z City part of it is abandoned. So does that have any merit, or like? They're definitely in in the ghost town right now. Like in chapter ninety four, they were in the in the ghost town. Yeah, but like, did did Saitama get thrown out like to a different town? Is like is Saitama was he in a different town when he was running back? Yeah, oh, I, I, yeah, um, maybe he got because I oh well, goes on me. I was just saying, the respect is pretty far. So he went pretty far. Yeah, but we're also under a subway facility, aren't we? Actually, got no, looking at it, I think it's still uh, City Z because it's like a small detail. But on the subway car, like on top of the conduct, on top of the driver's thing, it says Z09. Oh, I, I wasn't saying another city. Cities are like way too big in One Punch Man, but if I thought you were talking about like different parts of it, like towns and stuff. Well, the reason why I'm thinking it's not a different one is because like, oh, fuck, like, you still can't even see it that clearly. But I thought the subway was like kind of close to where Orochi's hole, where the hole was. Like when we see Saitama running and shit, like we see Orochi at the top of the hole, not that far away from that, from that. Or at least one panel. We know how Saitama can run fast as fuck, but like, hmm. so the so the subway, this subway car is most likely under Z City because it said Z what now? Well, Z O nine. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This nigga's a fucking monster, bro. Also, I didn't know. Maybe it's a Japanese structure thing, but like when you see the tunnel and how it was cleaved through like that's kind of weird design like i know that's like wiring and pipes and everything it's like why would they construct it that way is that what, i mean maybe because like half circles are more durable you know structurally sound but because when i saw that i was like why does it look like that I mean, I, I thought it was weird too, but like, I haven't, haven't really se seen a subway before, so. Yeah, I guess you, unless you were there when they built it, it's kind of hard to know what they look like. Nice, nice. Fuck, man, I just can't get over it. I'm looking back at that panel where like, the city's being lifted and shit, and it's like. <sighs> but let's keep it pushing. Um. All right, so we already talked about uh, Orochi being able to catch Saitama in his speed. Um, <laughs> we want to talk a little bit more about the chest vagina. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll leave that to Keisha. I just made an observation. <laughs> All right. Um, what about um, Orochi dodging Saitama? Thoughts on that? 
didn't dodge him for long. <laughs> so all right, if you, I mean, you're gonna have your moments. Like it's not like Saitama hasn't been punched or anything like that. So you can have your moments against Saitama, but we know how it'll end up, kind of a, like end result type of dude. So it's like it's cool, but you know, it is what it is. I just thought he would be too big to be moving around like that. Oh, yeah, the size thing, because he is like a huge ass monster. Yeah. But, yeah. And, like, Satama was, like, literally right in front of him when, he's gonna, when he broke through the, uh, the dragon and shit. So to jump up like that. I don't know, man. You think we're going to see the results of the explosion he did downward with all his dragons and shit? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Cause that one that one's technically bigger than, than the other one, right? Or you would think? What other one? Child Emperor? No no no. The um uh, the no, dragon come in house. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cause this one has all is the dragons big... on his back. Uh the ones Is on his it bigger head. than what? Than this one. Like the these two. The the two blasts that he did. The one he did downward. Which one okay. do you yeah, like Yeah, the one downward, I believe. Do we see fucking a goddamn thing from it? Like anything from that shit? I know. <laughs> That's the thing about it. Because like, I think Shonen already said, because like Sai Sama was like, he took the blast, so we, could, we didn't really get to see what it really did. That's kind of where the chapter ends. Like, his head is falling into the hole that he made and you see like the smoke coming out of it so maybe the next chapter we'll see it damn yeah you can literally see like the um the corners of the uh, of the of the walls and shit like there's there's room <laughs> they've been moved around because of the blast <laughs> wait maybe that downward blast i hadn't thought about it it wasn't necessarily attacking Saitama. Maybe he was making an escape route to recover. <laughs> Yo, stop this. Come on. No. He's like, I will come back stronger than before. I know what I'm up against now. He's just trying to bash Orochi. Hey, Orochi is badass. He, as far as I know, has survived against Saitama. That is something really nobody can ever say. Except for Roper, but you know he he can't say much of nothing. <laughs> but I mean, you know, like a normal punch, whatever you know, normal for Saitama actually is at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um. Well, like we mentioned before, this was kind of a short chapter, so that's gonna be it for um for this week's discussion. There's not. Fuck it, bro. Orochi better be fucking alive, bro. That's all I'm gonna fucking say. Next chapter better be fucking Orochi versus Saitama Part Two. We need that shit. But um, it's a few days away, so in the meantime, let's uh, head to these poll questions. Yeah, yeah. All right. So for this week's poll questions, um, we asked the following. <clears throat> uh, number one: Is Orochi still alive? And we pretty much addressed that one throughout the stream. Uh, number two, is Rover a bitch for running away? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Just because it's a smart move doesn't mean it isn't a coward move. Let's th make that clear. It's oh. a smart move. It's a move I would have done, but that doesn't mean that uh, you aren't a bitch for running away. <laughs> really? <laughs> Well, what happened I mean, to tactical retreat? Is new masters one. Yeah, yeah, it's tactical, but that that's still like, yeah, he still didn't hold his ground and try to get his uh one his rematch again. We know how it would have ended up, but nah, that's a bitch move, man. <laughs> All right, uh, which Orochi form looks better? Uh, a the form against Goro or B the form against Saitama? I think we pretty much answered that already. Uh, number four, Orochi versus Boros. Uh, I got Boros. 
I'm going to Rochi because he still has potential. I'm going Boris. I literally just made that video today. <laughs> it's like you knew. What was a smaller clip of that? Ah, uh, you gotta watch the video. <laughs> hey, Take a look at Mark. Smart market. Yeah, keep that channel traffic on. I think I can actually put that shit on there. The little um, the white card IDs. I think it's called a card. Can you tell me? Yeah. Review. Well, you, you know, yeah. bro. You, y'all niggas know what it is. It probably came on the screen right now. So go ahead, click that shit. Um, what does a Roti's monster cell do? Let me speculate. No that clue. I'm still <laughs> thinking it's just like the organ or something that makes the monster cells that others eat. Oh, that could be that, yeah. Or the and it could just also function as like his monster cell, you know, that furthered his own growth or whatever. But it, I think it functions more for that. It's just the replicating organ for that. Uh, for number six, we asked Atomic Samurai versus Flashy Flash. <laughs> flashy Slash. Whoa, whoa, bro. All right. <laughs> Matt, Zoni, Sasuke. Yeah, yeah, I made a video about this, too. <laughs> Yo, this thing is... <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't, don't watch the second one, though. <laughs> oh, but you asked the question, and you might have the answer. <laughs> Sasuke? Bruh, I think I... I'm pretty sure I already answered this before. I got flash flashed. Y'all, we, we already had this. So the nigga can cut know. energy beams, but it's Listen, all right. All right, man. Man. I know, I know your feelings towards flashy flash, man. and I know how much you love Atomic Samurai, but I'm sorry. I mean, wait, in the in the thing that you did, the little bracket, didn't they pick flashy flash over somebody that I was like, what? Who did they? Who was it? Damn, I forgot who it was. Koketsu? Yeah, oh, yeah, I think be, it was Goketsu. Oh, that'd be crazy. Hell no. What? We wouldn't have picked that. Would y'all, y'all would have picked Goketsu or Flashy Flash over Goketsu? I'm pretty I, sure no, Flashy I, that, Flash beat Goketsu. And yeah, he did. He beat him. And I was like, if I, because remember I said, if I pick Flashy Flash over get Goketsu, then I'm pretty, I'm pretty much saying that Flashy Flash is going to beat a majority of everybody on this bracket. Damn. You was credulous even back then, huh? I didn't pick Flashy Flash. I said I picked Goketsu. Oh, okay, <laughs> I didn't that, say that, that shit. That, that, that. Uh, the next question we asked was the Millennium Emperor Nova versus Orochi's Dragon Kamehameha? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dragon Kamehameha. Nice. Orochi. Yeah, mm-hmm. Especially if he includes all the dragon heads. Huh? Um... The next one we asked was, can Goro tank Orochi's dragon come at me out? We addressed that one too. Um, can Phoenix Man take Orochi's dragon come at me out? He'd be dead, but he'd probably come back. If not, you know, atomized. It's not tanking. <laughs> uh, I think maybe he could survive it. But he would be, like, way more damaged than what he was when he absorbed the Nova. Facts. He'd be like a burnt chicken. Just cooked all over. Yeah, he'd still be alive. <laughs> but uh, no way he's taken the downward one. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's getting yeah. vaporized. He'd have the dreaded fourth degree burn. <laughs> Sasuke, man? I don't think so. No, nah, what you said. He'd be dead. Uh, burnt chicken, yeah. Right. Um. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Would you let Cover Page bang fuck your mama and her mama? You wouldn't have a choice. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do if he said if he rolls up on you and say your mom looking fine and your grandma looking fine? <laughs> what, are you gonna do? what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come to bang you? <laughs> Whoa! That's what he's doing! Whoa! Whoa. Keisha's leveled up! Look at Chad, You're corrupting Keisha. 
Yeah, he ate a grim cell or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was pure. I wasn't super pure, but I've definitely gotten worse. <laughs> Oh, you're just a nice country boy. Now you're turning him into somebody from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Matt? You letting your mama throw it to him? Yeah, Banks a gentleman. He'd be like, uh, I, I, I want to take her out. I'm like, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> you would say no to a gentleman? Yeah, well, I don't know. He's, like, out of nowhere. I don't know him. But it's, like, a lot of good perks that may come with that. Because, listen, because, like, they ain't got money. So Yo. that's one thing. So yeah, if you get yeah. infatuated with either your mom or your grandma, then you got money. You got because money. Because he's grandpa. Yeah. You know, grandpas love giving their grandchildren money. And yeah. then if he impregnates your mom or your grandma... Um, then you could potentially have a little brother that's strong as shit. Cause you, that's you know. just pointing out that I could have a little brother or sister at the age of four who could just destroy me. Also, free martial arts lessons for yourself. It's a plus. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you gotta become a student no matter what. Straight up. Hell uh, yeah. So money in in in. And skills, you gonna turn that down just because your mom does it throw it you back? Can't out? put a price on love, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. I I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> what about you, Keisha? I did the joke. It's like when he starts singing the song. It's like there's nothing you can do. <laughs> that was kind of the whole point of why I said it. <laughs> So you go watch, Didn't huh? Did you guys ever watch Cops? Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what you we didn't say all that. When... Well, that's what I was basing the song on. He's just going to be in a tear. Damn, man. Just watching oh, that. It's like he <laughs> went through the door down, and then it's like, we doing it, or are we doing it? <laughs> now, Keishin, 200 subs. I need the bang theme song. <laughs> You can just get the clip. <laughs> so, Zonin, you letting your mama get that? Of course. <laughs> I, I hope he does a good job. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit, man. All right, uh, on to number 11. Uh, who will receive credit for killing Orochi? It would be King or Saitama. King. Yeah, we addressed this. And that's if he's dead, you know, at this point. Yeah, but that was just a theory, though. Like, that's not even, like, there's not really any threats for that shit. Y'all really think it'll happen? But here's the thing. Like, nobody really knows how strong a... Like, do, do any of these people even know who the fuck Orochi is? Like, yeah. um... No. Like, like, uh... Tatsu Mikey's the only one who really knows who Orochi is just because of Giro Giro crying for help that's about it no they they all know who Orochi is because uh, child emperor tells everyone in chapter 93 oh in the briefing oh, shit. yeah oh, okay okay bet all right that's the yeah i, I don't see because if he gets credit for that bro then that's <laughs> that's that's right right there so <laughs> and i don't see that happening yeah, and they all they all know about Orochi because Metal Knight originally discovered him, and, and then he told Child Emperor. Mm -hmm. Then he passed the information along. When they were talking in his um, hole again, in his uh, private laboratory, right? Like that. Um, Metal Knight was pretty much uh, peace. I'm not going to be in this arc. I'll see you later. Boy. Um, the next question we asked is, who will Rover run into next? We pretty much addressed that. <laughs> yeah. Um, best design. Uh, the options were Phoenix Man, Orochi, Bug God, Pure Blood, or Showerhead Sama. 
and you added the summer. Like oh, he was, he's graduated. He, <laughs> he did. He did not have that much importance to have the summer. He was just shower, 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 shower to him. You will now respect he's... him. <laughs> shower his summer right now. <laughs> it has to be uh, Phoenix Man. He was nothing but design. Yeah. It I, I was Phoenix, Phoenix Man. man. It was Phoenix Man for sure, but now Meteoric Burst Orochi is taking it in my life. Oh, is that what you're calling it? Well, I mean, we don't got a name on it, so it's either True Form or Meteoric Burst. Oh, shit. Yeah, I would think I would go with Showerhead for sure. Of course you would. What the fuck? Yeah. Because he has vibrating head action. Really? You seen that faucet, bro? Like, relax. Okay. Uh, the next question we asked was, um, Orochi spilled the beans that other monsters are down here. Who's next for Saitama if Orochi is dead? Saitama better not get any more fights, man. Yeah. Enough is enough. Fuck out of here. Please just go somewhere. You're ruining everything. And just keep having comedy bits. That's what he's best at. I'll tell you, I think it's real. Like it's, <laughs> we might get it's one like, more. There's, it's like if All Might was just suddenly with like uh, Class One A in one of their arcs. Like All Might, all right, dude, just go somewhere. We're trying to have some fights here that are kind of competitive. <laughs> you don't need you fucking Detroit smashing like these mid tier villains for us. <laughs> We, we got to get strong so we can protect the future generations and everything. But once your ass is dead, and it's like, wait, you're already thinking about when I'm dead? Like, I'm not going to spoil anything, but just like those of you who have read it, imagine if All Might was with the heroes in the Chisaki arc raid. Like, that would completely change the story if he was there. <laughs> it would be so quick. Yeah. All right. Uh, the next question we asked was the water stream rock smashing fist versus the water polo carbonated fist. Which looks better? Is the water polo what you're calling Saitama's fighting style? Yeah. <laughs> That's the official name apparently because I had to look it up. I was like, what the hell is this? I know I've heard it. Know, which which looks better? Definitely the water stream rock smashing fist. For real? Yeah. You ain't seen that water polo punch? Man, that shit was tough. I mean... <laughs> no, the, the, the Superman punch that he did looks amazing. But other than that, I mean... It's did just him kind of just being lazy. <laughs> did you not see the technique though when all the dragons are rushing him and with like his legs and his arms he's just waving them to knock away the dragon? <laughs> And the punch is just like, I'm coming for you. It's a classic war polo carbonated fist. <laughs> this is strong as hell, man. I just hate that it's called that. But that one armed uh, water stream dragon fist from Orochi is awesome. Hell yeah. Alright. <clears throat> so let's actually get into the questions. Uh, whoever wants to lead it off. Who's reading Black Stannis? Uh, <laughs> Niggas are prepping for that shit. <laughs> are we going to start off with him? It's a new segment on the podcast, the Black Stannis segment. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is from Black Stannis first. Uh, he says, Orochi, he dead. Um, number two, when I first... You oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is not me speaking. This is Black Stannis' <laughs> words, not my own. So, Black Stannis said, and I quote, when I first used a strap on on Satsuki, he ran away, but he came around after a day. The point I'm getting at is Rover was just scared, which is a perfectly fine emotion to feel. Unquote. Um, just let the people know this story isn't true. This oh. is fiction type of shit. The person who's about staying there. Listen, I've never experienced the the fear of a strap <laughs> on. So, yeah. And you never thought about it after a day and reconsidered it. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I've 
I've never, no, I've never had to deal with it to where I'm, you know, I'm contemplating a strap <laughs> on in the first place. Just um, sure. that that's just not my way of going about things. But uh, yeah, uh, three, the one against Garo. Uh, shit, was this the appearance which looked better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number four, Orochi gets fucked harder than Curry, <laughs> aka Sundown, could ever dream of. Oh, that that one's kind of sad. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Sundown. Hope you enjoy the podcast. <laughs> He's not even here to defend him. So. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sundown, but you know, it's Black Stannis. Uh, five, turn people into monsters. I don't know what question this is at uh, all. What does Orochi's monster cell do? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, six, I'm going with the cute one. Hmm? Atomic Samurai versus Flashy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yo. <laughs> it still doesn't tell us jack shit because, you Yo. know, everyone's, you know, views on looks are, you know, subjective. Were you trying to say that? Yo. Keisha Loki just said Atomic's cute too, though. <laughs> I, no, I think he was trying to be neutral. Nah, 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 nah. Nice enough, both of them. <laughs> that, that's cute. you. He was he was being neutral. He's saying <laughs> there's other people that like Atomic Samurai as well. So who, who you think other people are? <laughs> I don't know who the other people are. Like fangirls? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Fan Keishans. Uh, uh, seven. Orochi easy. Easy? Wait, is this the Orochi versus Boros shit? No, this is the comparing the the Millennium oh. Emperor Nova versus the Dragon Kamehameha. I was about to say, what the hell? Eight, I don't know. Nine, fuck no. Ten, I let him fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Alright, we, we might have to stop bro. reading this shit, bro. <laughs> that, but but the, the thing is, it it didn't even, like, that wasn't even your question. <laughs> he just added on shit that didn't need to be said. Like, bro, okay. Um, yeah. 11, King will get the credit somehow. Facts. 12, web comment spoilers. Thirteen, Orochi, but funny, funnily enough, showerhead is what I. Oh, bro. <sighs> showerhead is what I call Satsuki. What? <laughs> 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 reading that is so bad, his mic cut off. <laughs> hey, say it again, so you hear you, bro. He he said a ro- number thirteen Orochi, but that word enough showerhead is what I call Satsuki's tip. <laughs> Fourteen web comment spoilers. Fifteen I got to give it to Polo. Also Satsuki, if you keep denying our relationship, I'll leak the picks and convos. Also, if you guys keep calling me Grim. I'm going to get my Orochi Dragon dildo and seriously thrust Keishin, Grim, Shonen's assholes. And somehow Matt is dissolved from all of I just keep quiet. I'm just like, hey. Oh, I knew it would this. come back to bite me. Orochi Dragon literally, a couple times back. Literally, hey, like, everybody. We cool. Is, is that, that a thing? We should make that. We should sell that. <laughs> Everyone listening, please come to my merch store and buy my Orochi Dragon dildo. That sounds like the most painful shit ever. But nigga, I would not be surprised if in like that that hentai one punch parody <laughs> we get Orochi fucking a bunch of hoes, man. Oh my god. With the technical shit. We don't yeah, we don't need more of that. We need less of that. <laughs> to be honest, but you know. Tradition, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, uh in all bold king engine. Hey, gang gang. Um so this one is Tetsuka Bro. Uh for number one, absolutely a she's dead. 
Number two, he's put nah. Which one was that? Which one was number two? Uh, number two was is Rover a bitch? Oh yeah, of course not. Yeah. Uh, number three, uh, I prefer his normal form, but his super form still looks phenomenal. Yeah, definitely. That nigga's uh, a trash. No, it's. We're not saying it looks bad. We're just saying the old one looked more like a monster. Yeah. Okay, number four, Orochi can probably beat a uh, armored Boros. Boros even. Uh, okay. Number five. I still don't understand what Orochi meant by this. Wait for the manga stream translation. Okay. Six. Flash until we see Atomic Samurai school two dragons simultaneously. That's a good point. Uh, Crash. seven. <laughs> Orochi for sure. And number eight. The, the guy with Asso? Nope. Number nine. Nope. And ten is yup. Uh, eleven. King's getting <laughs> He said yeah to ten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 12. I already know. Uh, okay, where comic spoilers again. Uh, 13. Best design was a Rochi by far. Um, I don't know. There's a shower head. Uh, 14. Saitama is probably going to get lost somehow to keep him from getting too much of the action the S class needs to do something. 15 is always water polo. Hashtag King Engine. Hey, gang, gang. Uh, Nate the Great, uh, 3602. Number one, he's probably alive. It'll be a bit unsatisfying otherwise. And a bit was left behind. I guess he assume, or I assume he's going for like a Rochi's head survived kind of on that one. Uh, two, no, nah, that's Saitama. You know, uh, you would too. Wait, what? Uh, oh, about Rover running Rover away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, because I was like, what? Um, three, the form against Garo looks way better. Uh, Look, hey, hey, yeah, Grim. See, is that just us? You called us creditless. Is that just us? <laughs> uh, much more terrifying, but a bit less cool looking. <laughs> I didn't even finish it, so <laughs> apparently it's terrifying, but less cool looking. Uh, four, uh, Boros fucking yeets. On... <laughs> <laughs> Why do these words yeets on Orochi? No doubt. <laughs> Okay, what, what does yeets mean? Who's the last time you heard that shit? <laughs> yeah, that's. I honestly don't even know what it means. <laughs> what does okay. it mean? Does it, does it really have a clear definition? Yeah. It's kind of just like, you know, not. It's like similar to winning or succeeding. <laughs> I mean, the context would indicate that, so I'll go with it. Uh, five. I like the idea that it doesn't really do anything, and the action of eating it is just you giving up your humanity, but probably just mutates you. Okay. You like that idea. Does that mean you would eat one? <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Uh, six. Atomic Samurai would probably win, but unarmed Flashy Flash blitz him. Even with flashy speed, though, if AS has a sword, he's not getting a hit in. You already know. Tell him, tell him 14 times. If AS has a sword... Well, then why don't they fight barehanded and then we can see what they're really made of. I'm trying to nerf niggas, huh? Alright. Well, that'd be fun. Uh, seven, Orochi's blast looks bigger to me. Eh, it's really kind of hard to say on certain aspects of it. Um, eight, at this point... Fuck no. Wait, what was... Uh, that was the tanking question, so... Yeah, we kind of all went with that. Um, nine. In his final form, yeah, probably. Even if he couldn't, he would probably come back to life. Uh, let's see that was... Wait. Oh, wait, that's final form question. The, the eight was... Oh, you had it right. Yeah, I, I was... Look, I saw a tank in two questions, so... But I got them mixed up because they're right on top of each other. Um... Ten, hell yes. That was the <laughs> Why are niggas happy for this, bro? Y'all trying to get y'all moms fucked? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I mean, like I said, it's perks to come with it, but I don't understand the enthusiasm about it. It's not something people like, oh, shit, you fucking my mom and my grandma. <laughs> Bang, will you fuck my mom next? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eleven. I don't really think anyone knows about him, so probably no one. Uh, but it, uh, much more likely to be King. Yeah. He's got that luck. 
12. I've read the web comic so and uh, 13. I want to say Showerhead, but it's Phoenix Man. <laughs> then number 14, same as tw uh, question 12. So more web comic spoilers. Uh, 15. I mean, you can't beat the carbonation. All I'm saying. <laughs> I guess that's fair enough. All right. Uh, this one is from Scum Rage, the number one One Punch Man fan. Uh, thanks for doing the moderator work in um on Reddit, bro. Uh, he always tells people to remember to use King Engine. Appreciate that shit. All right. Uh, for number one, he says, "Is Orochi still alive?" Yes. Number two, is Rover a bitch running away? No. He's a good dog that got hurt by a mean dog abuse. <laughs> Facts. Maybe. Uh, which Orochi form looks better? A. Form against Garou. Or B. Form against Saitama. Uh, the second form looks much more human and intelligent. Agree. Uh, next we have Orochi versus Boros. Hold on. Uh, man, watch out, overgrown Rover. Damn, nigga. Alright. Um. Orochi versus Boros. He says, armored loses, unarmored wins, and meteoric bursts one shots. Wow. We haven't really even seen that much from armored uh, Boros. I don't think we even saw anything, right? I don't know, man. Um, <clears throat> five. What does Orochi's monster cell do? Uh, it's probably the source of evil in him, like every unnatural monster. All right. Uh, Atomic Samurai vs. Flashy. Either Kamikaze dices Flashy's sword and one-shots Flash, or Flash dodges past Atomic, uh, past Atomic Slash and one-shots Kamikaze. Damn, bro. So you ain't even gonna tell us about your answer. Alright. <laughs> uh, Millennium Emperor no vs. Orochi's Dragon Kamehameha. Obviously Orochi's Blast. Brave Giants didn't even force Diamond Eagle form to resurrect. Nigga, so... <laughs> Damn. Uh, number eight. Can Goro tank Orochi's Dragon Kamehameha? No. Goro would be incinerated instantly. All right. Uh, number nine. Can Phoenix Man tank Orochi's Dragon Kamehameha? Barely in his Diamond Eagle form. He died, but resurrect. Okay. Um, number ten. He says, "Would you let Cover Page bang fuck your mama and her mama?" No. Alright, party pooper. Uh, who will receive credit for killing Orochi? A Saitama or King? King, only the four strongest S class could kill Orochi. Okay. Uh, who will Rover run into next? People less scary than that mean dog abuser. <laughs> this nigga, man. Alright, uh, best design. He says Orochi. He's. Evil Spider Man with Doc Ock arms behind him. Yeah. What does it wrong? Yeah. Pretty badass. Um, 14. Orochi spilled the beans that other monsters are down here. Who's next for Taisama if Orochi is dead? Not Rover. <laughs> Saitama knows he's just a good dog. <laughs> Come on, bro. This nigga's trolling out of these questions, right? <laughs> All right. Um, water Stream Rock Smashing Fist versus Water Polo. Obviously, Water Polo. Since it can be used in water sports. It's like a tripping, bro. I respect it. <laughs> and the question is, which looked better this chapter, bro? <laughs> Whatever, dog. He's like, uh, all right, and this is for him. And he tags it with King Engine. Gang, gang. This is from Orochi's Greatness. Is Orochi still alive? I really hope so. I'm not surprised by the name. Is Rover a bitch for running away? Nah, man. That's Saitama. Lol. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Which Orochi form looks better? Uh, he said B, the form against Saitama. That is true. Uh, for Orochi versus Boros, he says Orochi pushes Boros to New York first. I think that's a fair assumption. Uh, number five, what does Orochi's monster cell do? Five, no clue. Good answer. Uh, six, Atomic versus Flashy. He says, Flashy, sorry, Grim. You're fucking trash. <laughs> Millennium Emperor Nova versus Orochi Dragon Kamehameha. He says, Orochi all the way. Can Garo tank Orochi's Dragon Kamehameha? 
Hell to the fuck no. <laughs> and Phoenix Man Tank Orochi's Dragon Kamehameha. Hell to the fuck no again. Would you let cover page bang fuck your mama and her mama? Says yeah. Who hey. <laughs> received credit for killing Orochi? Says King. Who will Rover run into next? Darkshine maybe. They both the tanks of their organization. That would be cool. 13, best design. He says Orochi. 14, Orochi spilled the beans that the other monsters are down here. Who's next for Saitama if Orochi is dead? And he says nobody, I hope. <laughs> and uh, 15, the, sh the stream versus the carbonation. He says the uh, water pole carbonated fist. Hell yeah. Hashtag King Engine. Gang, gang. Tell me the truth out here. Uh, so... Saito underscore double zeros. Um, number one, he says maybe, but he wants to say no. And number two, he's got nope. Uh, number three, both of them he's put for the designs, but Saitama, but he's put the Saitama one looks great, so I'll say he put that one. Uh, number four, he's gone for Boros as well. Five, he says he turns people into monsters, I assume. Six, flashy flash, no debate. Well, some, but in favor of flash overall. Uh, it's seven in terms of the blasts, Orochi's noble doesn't even ooze energy into the corners of its radius. It's fair. Uh, eight, unlikely. Because Orochi held back against Garo to prevent Garo's death. And nine, maybe, has Orochi uh, still has other methods such as martial arts to deal with Phoenix Man. I guess, yeah. Uh, number ten, he's put what? And a very shocked Pepe, I think. Uh, Eleven, he's put King. Uh, forget the credit. Twelve, where comic spoilers again. 13, he says Orochi looks the best. Uh, 14, shit, I don't know. Tat's got a gear in a corner, but we don't know about the other executive locations. Nian and Rover ran. And 15 is Saitama's water polo. Hashtag King Engine. Gang, gang. All right. Uh, I'm going to read just two more real fast. Give credit to some new guys. Um, <laughs> the first one is uh, Smack My Butt. <laughs> On Smack Man. Oh, for number one, he says unknown. Uh, for number two, he says probably not because I mean it's Kate Baldy after all. Who wouldn't? He was just playing smart. For number three, hard to pick. Form against Garou gave a lot of monster vibes, like the tune, uh, like the true Monster King. While Form against Saitama gave off the ultimate being vibes. True. Number four, he says Boros wins hands down. Number five. Uh, turns people into monsters, I guess. Unless you mean something else. Alright, bro. You don't think you're smart ass. Uh, <laughs> six. Hmm. It would be a good match, maybe. I think flashy because it's likely Atomic Samurai wouldn't see him coming. A credless as fuck. Um, for number seven, well, if we look at only the destructive capability, Millennium Emperor Nova obliterated a building completely and may have had extensive damage through the city block. Orochi's dragon Kamehameha leveled the earth's surface <laughs> with everything on it. So I feel that that is more superior. Alright, bro. Uh, for eight, he says, maybe, not quite, too sure. He was tanking his normal blasts like they were nothing. I'd say that he would survive, but may get hurt. Uh, for number nine, I think he would suffer serious damage, but not die. Alright. Number ten, I, I am confusion. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, 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 bro. You feel it out for the fucking. I'm gonna just assume you're okay with bang fucking your moms hard and deep, like hard and deep, all sweaty and shit, like mid stroke type shit. Like he he wouldn't even mind if you came into the room mid stroke. Like he's sitting there like buff pumping on your moms while he has his left hand um his left hand's ring finger inside your grandma's pussy and shit because she's bent over like holding your mama's hand and shit and then while he's sitting there bashing that shit you walk into the room be like mom can I and you just see him with your mouth open like just fucking shocked as fuck and you stay a little bit longer though because it's like oh it's super fan bang though he's amazing but damn he's fucking my mom's so that that's uh, that's gonna be your answer for number 10 so you wanna leave that like that <laughs> Yeah, that, this video definitely can demonetize for that <laughs> if they go into it far enough. People are gonna be coming to this video for Saitama versus Orochi, <laughs> and they're gonna be leaving with this in their head. 
<laughs> Bang fucking in moms. In that suit too. We're talking about the suit. What was this question that needed to be asked? <laughs> it's not some shit like where like, he's butt naked showing off his abs. No, he's in that same suit he's in. He just has a zipper down a little bit, just fucking your moms. Figuring your grandma and shit, get ready to switch out. Uh, Alright, uh, for number 11, uh, likely King. But even if he did fight Orochi, King would also win. <laughs> Facts, my nigga. Facts. Yeah, number 12, maybe other heroes, or maybe he'll escape the base due to transmuting, to the traumatizing. I don't know how you spell that. Yeah, traumatizing experience from Fatama. 13, definitely showerhead Sama. Oh, this, this, this nigga might get <laughs> S rank comment. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, for number 14, not quite sure. Depends if Saitama goes up, down, or some other horizontal direction. But 15, I think both look legendary. They're equal. That's... I'm tired of niggas dodging questions, bro. All right. And then, um,. The last one we'll read is um, from Odia Kopitz, I guess, I think. Odia Kopitz, Kopitz, Koptis, Odia Koptis, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Clear name, O.D. Um, I believe he's still alive. Whether he can return to his monster form is another question. He might return in his human form. Alright. Number two, he says, Well, I'm not sure if it was confirmed if Rover was male or female, so he could be a bitch. Otherwise, I don't think he should be considered a bitch for running. He should be considered intelligent. Alright. Number three, former against Saitama. It's because it's fresh in my mind, but yeah, his form with the chicken legs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so is it. Flame broiled chicken, man. <laughs> like, niggas aren't gonna say talent. Come on, bro. Like, give it a cool name. <laughs> um, for number four. Well, in the cramped space, Orochi may be able to catch Boros with one of his blasts. But if it's in an open field, I'll go Boros. I think it's all. I think it also depends on how engaged Boros becomes in the fight as well. Or Boros all the way. Number five. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe it contains the original source of all the monsters' DNA. And was given to Giro Giro by the devil. Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like some attack on Titan shit. <laughs> this uh, this isn't Waterboy where everything is the devil. But my mama said. <laughs> uh Flashy Flash is definitely faster, but we don't know yet whether he can dodge that atomic slash. In any case, I'll say, what the fuck, bruh? How are you gonna? Number seven, Orochi. It's almost uh, it's almost level the city, and I'm sure next chapter they'll show that it came out of the other end of the earth from his downward attack. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, bruh. <laughs> nah, <laughs> that's a little too much right there. Um, oof. I'm sure even one would have uh, to take a moment to figure that out. But I personally think it would be too much for him. What was number eight again? Uh, uh, King Garo Tank, the uh, I mean, how I believe. Uh, I bet. <laughs> number nine, yes. It was never stated how much energy he can absorb, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Thanks. Um, number ten, Bane could perform the water stream rock smashing fish on my mother if I can also have for <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Only partly. But my mother can take her can make her own decisions. Damn, bruh. <laughs> he said Damn. you can run a train on my mom if she we said so. We didn't even consider that. We would just talk about like how we felt. Yeah. We weren't even like thinking. Like what if your mom doesn't want to fuck bang? What if she does? I mean if she doesn't, it doesn't matter regardless. Like just like Matt said, he couldn't stop him. So <laughs> what chances your mama have? <laughs> Well, I think we all learned something about ourselves today. <laughs> Yo, imagine, oh, <laughs> imagine that, bro. You 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 hear your mom screaming, ah, help, help! <laughs> you break in and this bag like had to lay down, just stroking her shit. No, no. <laughs> then you come and he jump on his back and then. <laughs> 
You can hit me with that water stream, bro. <laughs> you would be fucking dead. <laughs> Oh, I heard it was the weird bird noise. <laughs> that was like, that's not what threw me off. That's Grim's combo noise. That's like that's his, that's his, that's his star platinum. That is. Like I thought he was heading into the matrix, but then it just sounded like a bird. What makes me like he burst out laughing because his mom's getting attacked by Bang? No, I just I just pictured the scene of like the the bo little boy running into the room and then. He sees Bang stroking his mom, and then Bang just turns around and smacks him with the water stream. <laughs> just, this is graphic. Let's move on. Let's move on. I hope everyone in the audience is enjoying the podcast. <laughs> oh, shit. My boy, you smart, though, for that bookie shit. You always, always negotiate. Good thing. Um, For 11, uh, neither. It might be like Boros, where they don't even know the fight existed, but if they did, then they'd probably give the credit to King. Number 12, maybe someone who hasn't fought uh, Atomic. Fu Bang Bomb? A match, or a Garoum rematch in a new form, or even the King himself. Or even the King himself. True. For who wrote my fight next? Um, the Phoenix Man form is simply too beautiful. Sorry, Showerhead Sana. Agreed. Um, 14. We might not see him for a while now since he got a whole chapter. But maybe he runs into another cadre. Um, or maybe into Tatsu or Giro Giro for some good comedy. 15. Water stream rock smashing fist. Oh. Alright. Agreed. And he tags this as well with King Engine. Gang gang. Alright. Um... So that was it for uh, for this week's poll questions. Remember, viewers, if you guys want your uh, your questions answered, uh, make sure you come into the Discord uh, like the day the chapter's released or the day after the chapter's released um, and come and conversate with us and then fill out the poll questions in the text channel. We're always here welcoming for you and um, always read your questions out. Um, now let's move on to the art gallery portion. All right, so pretty simple. Um, first of all, you have bang and bomb like redirect the um the attack from from uh orochi which was pretty cool but let's not even front the main reason why i picked this is because fabuki's in it <laughs> at least you're an honest man yo this nigga's bro i don't realize there were so many crazy things to pick and uh Viewers, we have to edit out the spaces that we take in between to find the pictures, but it was less than 15 seconds that Sasuke took. To, matter of fact, less than 5 seconds to find this picture, bro. He's addicted, dog. Hell yeah. You tripping, bro. You better get hey, some food. pretty much perfect. <laughs> I chose this picture um, because it just looks fucking badass. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Mm hmm um, nah, but, uh, on a serious note, like, it's just, like, um, this reminds me of up against Evil Eye. If you guys remember, in the fight up against Evil Eye, we got some pretty weird and crazy-looking perspectives of him throwing the buildings up and stuff like that. This reminds me of that exactly. Like, from the downward perspective, seeing Saitama jump up, and then having Orochi at the top of the hole, that's, that's nothing but a fucking amazing art. To be able to draw this perspective and have to have it, like, this looks like a movie on some real nigga shit. And I'm very proud to be here to see it. Um, so mine was when Saitama finishes off uh, Orochi. It's just, it's it's what has been going on. It's what been building up for the whole fight. It was obviously Saitama connected the punch with Orochi. And just, it looks great. Like, just the fire tunnel behind him. Just like, it's the end. It's sad to see the end of Orochi, but it's, it's what we expected. And it looks fantastic. Yeah, it really does look great. That's like... This is everything that Saitama's about. Percent, yeah. Uh, the uh, the full, well, not full spread, but like the the full view of Orochi's new form, like you know, chicken legs and all. But <laughs> it just looked too awesome. Because too often, do you know, like you know, new forms and everything, like they get cut off or somewhere, you know. And like we knew what the dragon heads looked like, so that didn't bother me too bad. 
I picked the uh, the dragon Kamehameha. This panel is remarkable. I, I, I really can't even understand how he's able to do this. It just looks so good. The close-up perspective of, like, Orochi shooting the beam point-blank at Saitama, and you're seeing, like, how big he is really, like, up close compared to him, and, like, the way that the beam looks and the Orochi looks. It's just, uh, it's just amazing. Hell yeah, bro. <clears throat> um, Like we said before, man, Murata completely outdid himself with this one, dog. Like, it wasn't even a fucking competition. It was, it was exactly what we fucking needed. Um, that being said, though, uh, I think that's about it for this week's podcast. Um, were there any other comments you guys wanted to make about the chapter before we head up? Um, not about the chapter, but this needs to be addressed because I'm really disappointed in that. Um. <laughs> Because of what I seen from that Jeopardy thing, <laughs> uh, it finally it's just, struck. Yeah, you know, it's just I understand not knowing stuff because I don't know a lot of things. I'm sure Matt knew a lot of stuff on there, but when it came down to the question, the question I felt he should have got for sure, where the question was, "What advice did Taint Top uh, give to?" Give it to Moomin Rider, and that just—I don't know what happened. I—I I don't know. I am a living B class hero. I'm so, <laughs> I'm like I built up, like you know, I'm like I know I went in, I was like, yeah, I know my shit, I can do this, I'll wreck it, and then you know that's me immediately after the Jeopardy, like like full body like you know fractures that's minus 1300 points bro. uh 1400 actually <laughs> grim on, let's, let's, let's get it right <laughs> holy shit uh, here's here's the worst part bro like I, I made i don't want to say the questions were super hard but like they weren't for like a first starter but like two of the guys on there aren't really like super 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 deep into one punch like we are like they read it they're caught up they follow along and shit but like you got to remind them certain people's names or some shit like that sometimes matt is literally on the podcast bro it got the worst score bro <laughs> yeah definitely i mean the amount of questions i knew the answer to but i was like i'll keep i'll keep quiet like, i know this but like i i'm not allowed to say i'll let them have their go and the moment it came to me it was like where's child emperor's lab i was like <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh shit! Nah, but um, we can't leave Sasuke out of this shit. Sasuke, you know what, bro? This nigga like he literally like didn't respond to the message where we were like, "Oh, we're doing a tournament." Like, <laughs> Wait, just so you come in later. Bro. Did I send you the invite to the to the to the Jeopardy game? Uh, maybe you put it on the group message, but I don't. I don't know. You didn't send it to me individually. I know that for sure. Oh shit! I was about to say, bro, because Sasuke came in like, like, like five ten minutes after the match started. So I was like, this nigga. <laughs> oh, I think you had. I think you were doing it during my birthday. So yeah. That's oh, bet, 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 bet. <laughs> he came in to ask the questions and shit. Told me, let me get this one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because especially the one where you were like naming like the uh, women, the One Punch Man women, that really disappointed me. I was like, <laughs> wow. I was like, what the fuck? Oh shit! Make sure you guys check out the uh, One Punch Man Jeopardy game we did. Um, it should be. I'll probably put it in the description below as well. Um, we had a lot of fun doing that shit. Uh, check out to see if you would do any better than Matt did. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, remember to check out everybody's channels. Um, everybody's doing a lot of One Punch Man content. Uh, this week actually, uh, Matt was able to get out a reaction for the chapter. So, hell yeah, that bitch was fire as fuck, Lordy Lord. Um, so make sure you check out. Uh, all of that thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't do like the. You were talking about doing a no. I think about like comparing thumbnails for the chapters. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> You you would win. Yeah, you probably would, right? I mean, mine's basically the same. Every time. Um, make sure you check out Zanin's channel. Zanin put out like two or three topical videos on the chapter. Uh, one of them, as you mentioned, was uh, Burroughs versus Orochi. 
And I think he did one about uh, Goro recently as well, too. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yo, this thing... <laughs> Gotta find out. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> um, Sasuke said, fuck One Punch Man. Oh, man. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said, I said I was too lazy for that review because I did the live reaction, got interrupted, I couldn't get back to it, so I scrapped it, and I didn't want to do the review because I was too lazy. That, <laughs> that's what happened. This thing, man, bro, he I think he got like, like 4K views on his last reaction, so make sure you go check out that reaction, and then type in your desire and wants and wishes for him to do another reaction, and... He probably won't even give a fuck. <laughs> I won't. I'll be. I'll be like, "Hey, thank you. I appreciate you, bro." And then nothing will come from it. <laughs> uh, you got any shit out uh, yet for your channel, Keisha? Uh, as of Monday, which this will be posted much later than that, I have the Fubuki. Not Fubuki. Damn it, that's Maki. I was thinking for Burger, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that that was about to get watched so quick. Um, Tatsumaki power up video. Right. I, she was one that I figured I couldn't do anything with because she's already overpowered, but I surprised myself. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh, you don't know how we're uh, you already know how we do. Uh, check out all the content that we put out. Um in between the chapters, we always support you guys with what you need to hear, what you need to see. Topical videos from One Punch Man. Uh, we do on um, Zoni's channel. We do tournaments on my channel. We do live streams, like that. Um, we, we finna get Sasuke to do shit, but he's always on our content and shit. Um, Matt puts out videos all the time for all kinds of shit. Check that out. Um, Coming to the Discord, uh, we're doing like uh, live watching events on like different shit. Right now, we're marathoning um, the JoJo series. But after we're done with that, we'll probably have on to something else new. So if you're interested in watching with us, uh, make sure you check that out. Um, and you'll see your news later on. Though. But before we head out, though, so like, imagine imagine you sitting there eating chips, right? You sit on your couch and you eat chips, so like you get a text from your girl or whatever, and you hear it banging in the back room, just like, no, what the fuck could that be? What's going on? So you go back there and shit like that, you know, you still got chips in your hand and shit, and then you bust the door, the room door open because it's your mom's room, right? You bust that shit open and you fam, you sitting there, you Yo see, ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <Yeah! laughs>